I'm signing Senate Bill 226, which creates the Care for Retired Police Dogs program to provide funding for the care of our retired canines. And with that, Governor Ron DeSantis put pen to paper Friday, signing the bill into law while in Bunnell. DeSantis says the program is funded at $300,000 this year. This program will be housed under the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and it will help officers or adopted families of retired canines afford the veterinary costs for these animals and ensure that they are well taken care of and repaid for their services. Caregivers will be eligible for up to $1,500 of reimbursement for veterinary costs each year. Our law enforcement community must include recognition for our four-legged friends. What we're saying in Florida is we're going to step up, we're going to provide support for these canines, and I think it's going to be fantastic. I think you're going to see people lining up to be able to adopt these guys, and they're going to be able to live good retirements because they've earned it. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. If we have to choose bad fireworks over no fireworks, I'm picking none. Fireworks in Flagler Beach this 4th of July are a flop. The city commission has decided not to move forward with a fireworks show on 4th of July with a new cheaper vendor citing unapproved changes to the contract. Here's an exchange between Commissioner Deborah Phillips, who was torn over the idea of not having a fireworks show, and Mayor Susie Johnston. Mayor, if there's a consensus that we're okay with the change in the contract, will you sign it? No, I'm I'm going off of principle. When there is a change of a contract. I need to be notified before it's given to me. City Manager William Whitson says the $1,000 price hike in the contract with North Florida Pyrotechnics, a subsidiary of Allen's Island Outdoor Management, was mandated due to a need to import fireworks from Indiana. There's a, a slight uptick in the price for that. Everything's going up. So I didn't see that being a big deal to change the price from twenty four to 25000 I'm sorry if I offended the mayor or this board, but I did not see that as a significant change. City Commissioner Eric Cooley says he was never down with this vendor. Then he added, it's going to be dramatically different. To me, that's a huge red flag. This is not the guy. At this point in the game, you could try to get another vendor. This guy has done bait and switch the entire time we've been doing business with him. It is going to be a waste of our taxpayers' money to do business with this guy. If they want to see fireworks, Flagler Beach residents will have to head over to Palm Coast on July 3rd. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. 250 new apartments are coming to town center in Palm Coast. The five-building complex will be on the south side of Brookhaven Drive as part of town center. Mayor David Alphen says one area not addressed by the developer is the complex's viability for university student housing. We have what were 100 and now hundreds of students going to school here. They will need a place to live, and I just want to know if these type of dwellings would be appropriate for our students in the future. Councilman Ed Danko responded to the developer's statement that rents would be market rate. Those students that graduate and go to work in our new hospitals are going to need a place to live. And if they can't afford this type of luxury as a student, hopefully they'll be able to afford it. They're going to need housing. And they might not be able to afford a 3,000 square foot house on a 10,000 square foot lot. But it was Councilman Eddie Branchino who issued this dire warning. Palm Coast will be an affordable town to live in when nobody else wants to live here. When we move out, then those that come in will make it an affordable town. Mark my words, give it a decade and watch what it is. So be very careful what we vote here and what the planning board votes for because you're destroying this town by this vote. Frank Kino was the only no vote. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley is elected to lead a statewide law enforcement organization. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley is the newly named president of the Florida Deputy Sheriff's Association with his term beginning in July of this year. It's a great honor to support the men and women 
of sheriff's offices throughout the state of Florida. As president, I will represent 16,000 members. This is a volunteer position. Sheriff Staley previously was the vice president for FDSA for two years. The mission of the Florida Deputy Sheriff's Association is to establish a network of knowledge, promote professionalism, support law enforcement and detention deputies, and employees of Florida sheriffs. Today, the FDSA is the largest association of deputy sheriffs in the country. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. What is the Flagler County Drug Court Foundation? Michael Feldbauer, the president of the Flagler County Drug Court Foundation, said on a recent episode of Flagler Health Matters that the foundation helps those arrested on drug charges focus on improving their lives. We help them get their GEDs, education, job training, jobs themselves. We were before the current housing crisis, helping them find housing. Feldbauer said that the foundation even helps with car repairs if needed to help participants get to work and to needed appointments. He said the goal of the Flagler County Drug Court Foundation is to help participants to get through drug court and focus on their recovery. Listen to Flagler Health Matters on Saturday mornings at 11.30 here on WNZF and anytime on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, drug court versus jail. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.